Someone's humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. Can't be in two places at once, can I? Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors. Weapon, young man. Mm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression, for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us?
You know why I'm here. You know what I want. You shall dream of us and return for what you reject. They always come back. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word, so tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone suffered for one. We let beast and players saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a blood room. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame. She fell into our hands. Elder blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. The table set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Emirith will get her. He will, but not whole. Hmm. Well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! No, oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. 
but you knew that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst... Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if... The good will die, and soon you, handsome knight. <laughs> 